Hey, end of uh, June for you guys. Oh, end of May, sorry. Beginning of June, ending of May. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. I'll wait for you guys to jump in. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of what's been going on the last couple of days. And we will talk about what I'm doing today. Gus 13, what's happening? Eli! Yo, you going to, um, Eli, I think, um, they're, they're building a new crawling area in the back. So just to give you a heads up on that, RC Jarge, what's going on? Miloania, 82, what's going on? Hey. Rumbo, 5354, five, what's going on? Warhawk Legend. There he is. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on, my man? How we doing? I haven't seen you on the live feeds lately. What the hell's going on there? I have not seen you. Chris Medford, what's going on? Uh, wait. Matt M Meford? Meford. I'm going to say Meford. Or Mefford. It's one of those. Angel, what's going on? All right, let me get this camera in position. To get you guys with a better fall. You're right the first time. <laughs> yeah, I was there yesterday after crawling for four hours. Oh, well, here's the thing that was happening at uh, Hobby Heroes. Uh, they uh, they took down the mini Z track uh, for the season, so that kind of you know puts a damper on a lot of things that people are doing over there. But let me get this camera in position so I'm able to get a better visual. All right. Chris Crash RC, what's going on? Anyway, so let's, uh, Walk Legend, I've been uh, missing, my bad, I've seen your motorcycle. I muted your audio. <laughs> Yo, the audio was crazy. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, let me just, I ended up putting the um, 360 dome view and uh, I didn't change out the audio settings. I just threw it up there for you guys to check things out. Tyler Stone, what's going on? Nor Normandy, Crush, Kush, what's going on? Um, all right, so let's begin and start this off, and we'll talk about a few things. So, let's start off with a few notes for you guys. Uh, I've been kind of uh, beat up with my back, so for guys who are still waiting for stuff to come in, um, email me. And just to make sure that I did not miss you, I have sent out a few things as of right now. But um, but that being said, um, yeah, definitely email me if you have not received your stuff. Uh, secondly, uh, let me see, Painting the RC, what's up, Gia? I've been missing the live feed. Sorry, bro. Uh, living in the UK doesn't uh, help me. Uh, difference, yeah, time difference. It's seven hours, I believe. I'm fixing my access, so I'm here for a bit. All right, cool. So I'll try to get this through real quick. I'm kind of surprised Mr. Uh, Steve the Clark is not in. Uh, he's definitely, he, he, his time zone difference, I think it's probably 8 o'clock in the morning, so he's probably in a coma. <laughs> I think it's 8 o'clock. Maybe it's 9 o'clock. Uh, who knows? Um, so how far, how far, oh wait, uh, hey, Chris Crash, how far is the uh, UDR ODB project? Ah, my man from Germany. Definitely got to get your information because I'm going to be going to Germany uh, very soon. My company is based out of uh, Berlin. So uh, I'm going there as soon as possible. So um, how is my audio system? Well, my audio system over there, uh, it's almost completed. It's not as loud as I would expect it to be because it's not running off the body. When the speakers are attached to the body, uh, it's a much louder sound. You do have to tweak out the... Um, the mounting brackets on there for it to be a little bit louder it can't be flush because then you lose a lot of the audio so uh yeah so that's primarily is all i know what's going on from germany too ah oh, to my german people what's going on malena you're in the netherlands i need to i need to start traveling abroad paying the rc cool it's 4 30 p.m here now wow yeah you're in the future buddy rc steven what's going on 
Uh, is this your last live for the season? No, I think I got two more lives uh, to go. And then, um, and then it's just going to be um, not upgrading videos, which I'm not going to be doing. Um, I'm not going to be doing any upgraded videos. I'll probably do update videos. And also the things I'm going to be doing as of late will be... Um, I'm going to be doing videos of the boat. The boat is going to be up there. We're doing a big camping RC thing. Uh, a lot of people are joining uh, very soon. Uh, the boat's going to be there. There's going to be a crawling thing uh, happening very uh, very soon. And uh, RC United Worldwide through Geo's channel. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I like these live feeds to where I'm able to com uh, converse with a lot of you guys throughout uh, the world. I mean, I have people... Now, now I'm, that I'm finding out, Leather, uh, Netherlands, Germany, UK, Australia. I've have have had I've had people from Japan, uh, all over the United States, uh, Brazil. Uh, somebody hit me up from Peru, so uh, it's definitely cool that I'm able to reach out to a lot of people. All right, so let's start off this video, and maybe you guys can assist me when I uh, start doing these things. All right, so let's start off with up there. I'll bring the camera up a little bit. So you have the Traxxas X Max. Uh, code name for that RC is Sunkist. Um, you have the right there is the Traxxas Drag Car. Uh, I call that one Trickster. We have the boat. I have no name for the boat. I need to get a name for that boat. I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, leave me a message. We'll see what's going on. We have the E Revo, which is Ripsaw. Uh, 110 scale E Revo. We have the mini E Revo. Um, I called it Serpent. Uh, I could be changing the name to that to match a family member. Uh, we have uh, the Bandit. Uh, I believe I call that um, Blades. Uh, we have the Rustler Mama Monster, which is Generation One. We have uh, Goose Chase with the Grey Goose Boswell next to it, uh, which is the Fortec. We have the uh, Latrax Rally, which is Cobblestone. We have the uh, Latrax Alias, which is Shooting Star. We have the, um, what is that one? The Teton, which is uh, Implant. We have the UDR. I have no name for that. Uh, we have the Stampede 4x4, Stampinky. We have the Grave Digger, Tombstone. The Mini Grave Digger, I have no name for it. We have the Summit, which I call Protocol. We have um, the Maximus, which is the Emax. We have Breakneck, which is the X01. We have e Break, which is the Rally. We have uh, Deadlock, which is the Slash 4x4. We have uh, Deception, which is the Slash Two-Wheel Drive LCG. With the HGC, I do not have. Um, we have uh, DJ Medic, but in actuality, or RC Sparks, one of these things, but it's his name is reversed. Uh, we have Rabbit. We have no name for the Yeti XL, and we um, and my little Yeti is called Pollo, which in Spanish means chicken. So, what did we add to the RC family? Now. A lot of people has been having a lot of speculations of what I've been getting. Oh, my mini Z's. Um, yeah, my mini Z's. Are, I can't really show <laughs> right now because they. Well, I'm gonna try to show it. They are over here. Um, there's my mini Z's. Uh, one of them is Ricochet, and I did not name the other one. So that's my kill show. All right, so there's been a lot of speculation of which RCs that I've uh, that I've gotten into my area. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, the new RC, and we'll talk about it. And um, I'll do a live unboxing, show you what's all, what the RC have, and uh, we'll work on it from that point on. Anyway, just by your comments below, before I even unveil this, what did you think I got? Let's go. Let's see what's going on in the comment section and see if you guys got this right or not. Let's see what let's switch. Let's see what you guys think I bought. RC Steven says the new E Revo. Timothy C says the MT410 pop. Paying the RC Arma. 
Uh, Warhawk Legends, Scale Bronco. Eli, Eli knows. <laughs> Eli knows. <laughs> Let me see, Timothy Vitera. Spartan. I like the way the new Spartan body looks. RC Dodge, new E-Reaver or armor for sure. I know you, bro. <laughs> Quarter scale Bronco. Centon. Centon. I'll be honest with you, I, I, I'm not a fan of the Centon. Centon. Centon? I'm not a fan of it. I don't know why. I just never caught my eye. Alrighty. So, that being said, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, you know what, I, maybe it handles well, maybe it's a really excellent RC to drive, but visually, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of it. All right, so let me talk about, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Walk Legend. At least I'm not in the middle of this. All right, so I might as well unveil what I got. All right, probably a lot of people are going to be surprised, so, um... A lot of people will be surprised, and surprised so because I'm thinking about getting something else too. So, all right, so let's start this off. This is what I bought. Anticipation and drum roll. All right. Now, there's a reason why I bought this. There's a main, main, main reason why I bought this. All right, here we go. That's what I got. I got the brand new Traxxas TRX4 chassis kit. Why did I buy this? Well, a few reasons. Uh, my hobby shop, Hobby Heroes, Bruckner Hobbies, uh, they are in actuality building a competition, um, a competition crawler um, place in their parking lot. So everybody's buying crawlers. I already have a crawler. I have my SCX10 as well. But I've been eyeballing the TRX4 for like the longest now. And um, oh, Timothy, you just cursed me out in a different language. Bad, bad, bad. Wait, hold on. Jermaine Bats, Kaluz. Hold on, let me get Google Translate. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kaysen Schultz. Hey, where are the Rudd's Mom with Moss stickers? Uh, two weeks ago. Like I said, uh, like I told you guys, if you guys not have received anything, send me an email, and I will definitely talk to you about it. Um, RC Dodge, what's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, C Body for that. Well, there's a discussion of that, too. Dev and DRC, what's going on? Eli, you going to love it? Yeah, is it better than the SCX10? I mean, I'm just curious. I'm going to have to build this up from the beginning. Uh, let me see. You could have, uh, and you could put uh, Mama Monster 2 in that box. <laughs> oh, God. Kazen. Uh, okay, thanks. Eli, I have mine. It's awesome. Well, Legends. Ah, TRX4. I see. I need to sit a Bronco. All right. Uh, you said a Bronco. Well, here's the thing with that. So why did I get this? Well, like I said, they're building a competition thing. Uh, I do have an SCX10, which I'm very happy with, uh, but... Axial did come out with the SCX-10 too, which makes my RC kind of dated, but it's still very scale. So what did your boy Geo do? Well, this is what your boy Geo did. It's very, very, very hard to get the Bronco because now they're backordered. And I'm like, no! So this is what I did. I got that as well. And if you're wondering what that is, that's the way Traxxas unveils um, a separate box uh, for their new body. So, and there's going to be a lot of stuff that's added on to that. So, <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> so, that being said, I couldn't get the, the Bronco because the Bronco was out of stock for a little while and um, I had to go with this. Now, uh, I'm going to put this on the side and I'm going to talk about the Bronco body box first and we're going to do an unboxing with this and we'll talk about it a little bit because a lot of people have seen the unboxings with the trx4 and i want to get into that first and we'll talk about this which i'm going to go around the whole thing 
and um, we'll talk about a few things on it. Alrighty, so this is the Traxxas Pro Scale Body Kit um, and a whole bunch of other languages as well. The Bronco Ranger XLT. So let's go around the whole body side of it. Uh, just to give you a heads up, the part number is uh, 8010X. All right. That's going to give you the side view of what the Bronco looks like. And also, it's going to give you the back view. And as you can see, there's a few other things that are added onto this Bronco body as well. Um, and also, on this side, it's going to give you the visualization of the type of uh, 1.9 tires that you could put along this. Compute, complete your kit with these uh, tracks and accessories, which you're looking at right now. Um, if you're looking at the top of it, you're gonna have the uh, red body. But here's the curiosity. As you can see, I have the red on one side and the orange on the other. Now, we're gonna go on this side and we'll talk about a few things. Okay, let me get this a little bit closer for you guys to get a visualization of this. All right, what's in the box? Well, let's talk about what's in the box. It's going to have the Bronco painted black with clear windows. Now, Trax has just released the clear body, which I'm going to be buying, and I'm going to have my own little conceptual thing on that, and I'll talk about that after I read this whole thing to you. Uh, mirrors, windshields, uh, windshield wipers, and chrome door handles. Chrome grill and side trim. Front bumper with push bar and rear bumper. Spare tire mounts. Sunset red sunset and red decal set which you see over here this is the upgraded part for the um the, the back of the body these are the different bumpers um and rear body mount and this is all the other languages that they have that right there okay so let's talk about the way this whole thing sets up okay ready to install on trx4 chassis 312 millimeter wheelbase uh, and TRX4 chassis kit. Now, the reason why they point that out is because the uh, Land Rover and also the tactical body uh, chassis are a lot bigger. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit over this. Uh, Traxxas bon uh, Bronco body kit showed installed with Traxxas TRX4 chassis 312mm wheelbase. Part number is 8177 Chrome. 1.9 wheels and Traxxas Canyon tire tra uh, trail tires. And it's in a whole bunch of other languages. So this is it. This is why I bought it. There's a little bit more things on this than the initial body would have. So that being said, let's let's get this thing going and see what's in this body. All right. Okay, so let's pull out the decals. These are the size decals that they give you. As you can see, one side is the red. The other side is the goldish, reddish sunset color, which is a cool, cool thing. Um, uh, I know a company that's making this in metal, which I, I already bought, and I'm making this in metal, which I already got, which I'm going to be installing into my RC. Uh, just a little bit. I want this to be very, 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 very scale. Okay. So, we're taking the body out. What's underneath here? Aha! So, in here, um, I can see the push bumper, which is over there, the rear bumper that's installed over there. I see the mirrors, and I'm not too sure what, I'm not too sure what this is. I got the mirrors there, and these are the door handles, which, oh, those black screws, I gotta find some different type of screws. I think I have different type of screws for my Mini Z kit, so. Um, well, funny that you should talk about that because I ended up going with uh, a brand new decal uh, kit and um, that's primarily it, so. All right, so let's take this. Oh, here's the other piece that fell out. Here is the body mounts for the rear. And oh, it comes with the spare tire attached to it already. So there's your Ford Bronco tire, which is kind of sad. They made it plastic, but I'm pretty sure I can choose whatever tire I want to put on this because it is mounted onto the body, which I will be changing out, which that means I have to get another set of um, another set, which is pros and cons eh. 
It's a nice big body. I see the, the windshield, which I think, I don't know if it comes in with the same body itself. I have no idea because I don't own the, the Bronco uh, ready to run kit. I'm gonna put this bad boys back in there. Now, here's a little bit of the, of what I'm looking at, how it's installed, how am I gonna put it onto the RC with the bumpers and everything like that. It shows you the installation of the mirrors, the door handles on both sides. I believe that's for the back. Okay, that's interesting. And it tells me where I'm going to put everything on this. And this is in a different language. So it's pretty cool that Traxxas does uh, incorporate a few languages for people to make sure that they got what they wanted on their RC stuff. I'm going to put you guys back because you are going to be the last thing I'm going to be building uh, when I do do this. Decals, I'm not going to, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm not going to be using any of these decals other than... No, I don't think I'm going to be using any of these decals. If that's the case. I mean, other than the headlights, I think, but... I don't even think I'm doing that because I'm making my own. No, why would I use the headlights? I already have headlights already installed here. These taillights? I don't know. We'll see what happens in the near future. But uh, with the decal sets that I'm buying right now, I don't think it's feasible to even do that. Let me put you back. There's a whole bunch of parts that I bought for this thing too. Brass weights. I'm, you know, you guys give me a vote. I'm planning to do all integer into this, so give me a vote on the type of colors that you would want me to utilize when I do this installation. Will I do blue, red, silver, gunmetal? I'm not too sure. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Nice, tracks quality it should go on uh, spot on, yeah. See, I knew it. Justin Omar, nice. Miloenia, I just saw Traxxas lift kit for the TRX-4. I need to look at uh Walk Legends, love that body. Craig, uh you just wanted the Bronco because of the orange. No, in actuality, that is incorrect. I will show you. I'm doing a new body. And also, let's see if I can pull this out. Live on video. Which I just did purchase it, so it's gonna be something cool. <laughs> Purchased items. Mm -hmm. Hold on, it's taking a little bit. And that is the wood that I bought. The body will not be black either. So, just throwing that out there. Even though you saw about... Uh, I'm going to have two different bodies, a uh, run body and a show body. So, all right, what else are you guys saying? Um, uh, Ricardo, how fast How fast have you gone with the Fortec? <laughs> the day I get to drive it. Uh, Dev, awesome buy. I got to go, bro. Take it easy, my man. Walk Legends. I'm trying to think. I believe I read uh, where Ford is bringing back the real Bronco. Yes, it's in uh, the Rocks movie, whatever movie he just did. It's in there. Painting the RC. Thanks for the update, bro. Good catch, live feed. Thumbs up, man. Gotta go. Dinner's on the table. Enjoy your meal, my friend. Walk Legend says, Gio, you ever painted you ever painted that cool scheme for your Fortec? No. My lady, I sent you I sent it on your Instagram. Alright, excellent. Or that says Jimsy Wood. Alright, so let's go with the TRX4. So, I'm trying to figure out how to open this up. And judging by the way this thing is set up, it looks like I have to crack open a whole side. So let me get the X-Acto knife and start working on this. All right, well, no X-Acto knife, but got a blade. Got me a blade. So it looks like I have to uh, take this whole thing apart.
reason why I do this is for you guys to see that when I do an unboxing, it's not like I opened it up and checked it out and presented it to you guys. I am doing a legitimate unboxing. I know guys just put this on the side and then show you an unboxing video. I even busted Traxxas on that and when they did their unboxing that they stated it was an unboxing. I said, you know what? I said, you're showcasing your brand new RC, but don't call that an unboxing. I was like, I didn't see you crack that box open. You could have just got it off the tech table, you know? And you have other RC guys that take the box, throw it on the side, and then present to you the RC, and it is what it is. You guys are seeing this exactly how I'm seeing it, a live unboxing. All righty, here we go. So let's talk about a few things with this. Uh, box that I have right now. What are you guys saying? Uh, Traxxas with the kit. Never thought I would see the day. I know it's weird. Mr. Ray, sorry I couldn't make it today. I watched uh, the real. All right. Uh, don't forget the NBA finals start tonight. Excellent. That's true. Evan Harrington. I can't see that last thing. I'm at school, but I still love it. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do your school thing, my friend. All right, so let's go into the box and see what the Traxxas has given me. All right, so here are a lot of the electronics I see right now. So I see uh, one, two, three servos. Uh, all three of them are the 2065. Also, I get the 2075 servo, uh, which comes in a lot of 110, 110 scale Traxxas products. Um, finally, I'm able to get, I already had this type of controller, but not the, uh, TQI with the Bluetooth. I'm happy to get this because now I'm able to utilize the sound, um, the sound version for my, uh, UDR, which is over there. So I'm able to do that. I'll take out the Bluetooth out of there and I'll stall it in here. I have the, um, Traxxas XL5HV. I'm, I remember reading that I'm able to put my 3S batteries in this. I'm not too sure, but I believe I can. And here is my um, TQI with TSM receiver, which is all right here. This is the way it's packaged. I'm not going to crack it open for you as of yet, but we're going to go still digging into the box. And Trax just packed this up really nicely. All righty, next part. The TRX body mount bags. TRX body mounting bag and from what I'm looking at in this box I do have the bumpers and whatever mounting and the sidebars I would guess and screws oh god for safety black screws I'll be changing that out next and from what I understand Traxxas is coming out with their own um, stainless steel screw kit and that would be very interesting to get because a lot of the stuff that they have uh, definitely needs stainless steel. I mean, I would buy the stainless steel screw kit from Traxxas because a lot of their parts, a lot of companies like third-party companies uh, like RC Screws and everything like that don't have specific Traxxas stainless steel screws. And to have that it would be awesome. The only RC that they have where it's stainless steel is um, all their boat vehicles. You know, the Spartan and everything like that. That's all stainless steel, so... All right, what is this? Okay, this is the TRX electronics bag. As you can see, I have my Titan 21 turn 550 uh, reverse rotating motor. Here's the cap. Here's where my ESC goes and everything's getting built. And, oh my God, what did I, what did I embark, my, embark on doing? This is crazy. She just bought it ready to run. All right, here we go, next bag. Okay, so a lot of these parts I'm not going to utilize. This is going to be the TRX rear axle bag. A lot of these parts I'm not utilizing. Why? Because I'm changing them into metal. Okay, so this is going to be brass, uh, and a lot of these carriers are going to be brass. So that's going to be changed out uh, as I'm doing the build for this RC. Next bag. Let's go over here. Alrighty, what are you? The TR. The TRX4 dampener bag, which this is where all my shocks are, which I'm curious, what kind of a diff, diff um, shock fluid are they using? It doesn't say. Maybe it says somewhere else. Shock oil. 
but I have nothing that it says what type of shock wall that is. Hmm, interesting. Well, here's my shocks that I have to install. Let's keep digging on this. Why do I, why do I sense I went crazy and, and bought this kit? All right, Walk Legends, No Limit RC was his last name. Oh, this kit with that Bronco body will look good. Have you ever built a kit from scratch? Have I ever built... I built a rustler from scratch, but I knew what the hell I was getting myself into because I know the back, the ins and out of a rustler, but this is going to be brand new to me, you know? All righty, here's the good stuff. What is this? The TRX4 chassis accessory bag. What the hell's in this thing? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Uh, okay, so this is the body, like the, the, the fenders and stuff oh. what do I think what do you guys think has anybody ever built this how long did it take you guys I'm just curious what was the time frame on all this stuff all right oh my god more bag more bags okay this is the TRX4 suspension link bag and I like the fact that the screws where um you have to mount stuff on come with that so you don't have to really go back and forth to see what type of screws that you need so that's a cool thing so these are all my links which are a ton of links which is going to be hopefully they have a detailed booklet on how to install all this all right keep digging into the bag next uh this is the front axle bag like i said a lot of these parts i'm not going to be utilizing like the diff cover will be um, brass and a lot of these components um, will be brass as well uh, so we'll see what's initially transpiring with this there's a lot of bearings that I have in here so this will be very interesting and I have the pull cable which I don't know why I got this thing like this I must I must be out of my mind and the, the screws are separate to whatever area you're gonna be building okay digging a little bit deeper aha uh -huh. You never get the realization of how big this RC is when you start looking at this. This is pretty much the length of the RC. Um, these are the two, the two brackets for where everything's going to be mounting on together. So that's a cool. That's pretty cool. The only reason why I'm going to have a little bit of familiarity, familiarity on installing this RC is because I've already customized an SCX10. And though they are very different, there are a lot of things that I could learn from, do from that from the other. Alrighty, uh, this is the TRX differential bag. I gotta build the diffs too. Yet I have no diff fluid. I have diff fluid. If anybody's ever built this, give me a heads up of what diff fluid you guys are installing. I'm not too sure. I have all the weights. So if you're able to tell me, we'll be good to go. All right, let's go into the next parts. All right, so what is this? This is the sensor drive shaft bag, which is plastic, which you do have to change out to metal. We have some tools, which they don't even mark down the tools, but they should mark down the tools. What's the matter with them? And I don't even know what type of oil this is. It's not even marked. All right, keep going. All right, what's this? This is the transmission. This is what I'm going to have to get more and more into detail with. This has to be upgraded to steel hardened steel and the transmission case I have to change out as well that's going to be an aluminum transmission case and the gears look good to go at that point on so this is the transmission bag next all right oh I gotta build these too these are the tires they call them nothing these are wait a minute oh Nicey nice. They are already installed. So I don't have to go too crazy because the tires are already uh I'm gonna upgrade to steel, of course. Uh I don't have to go too crazy because they're already they're already upgraded to uh they're already installed. So but I'm not gonna keep these tires. Uh I'll probably just still have them in the bag because I'm already ordering brand new tires and brand new uh rims for this. So I'm probably just gonna keep these in the bag. We'll see what happens in the next thing. Okay, let's keep going. Let me put you in the back. Is there anything else in here? Aha. And here's what I need to do. This is the literature that I need to read for my TRX4 build. 
And at the end, it should look like this. I hope. We'll see what happens. This book is pretty, pretty thick. Um, let me crack the, the book open for you and see what's initially uh, going on in the book. Why not? All right, so this is the TRX4 book, model 820164, and what does this give me? This gives me a lot on, it's colored, nice, but this is only, does it give me step by step? Okay, ah, it does. So it gives me step by step, all colored, on how to install this. Wait a minute. Ah. And also it gives me step by step which links that I'm using, which is a good thing. I like that. I like that because a lot of times you have to figure out what size goes where. So it does give me step by step instructional stuff. Now here's the weird thing. Uh, it says glue, but the tires are already assembled. We'll see if they're glued on, um, and then we'll see what's going on from that point on. All right, so this this is gonna be my Bible for the next couple of days. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, this is my decal stuff, which I don't worry about right now. All right, so what if what do you do if your tractor's model breaks? Call of track support, and I guess this is my. Aha, see? A few other things. Did I just stop? No, I thought I kind of stopped. Yeah, it is complicated. So, um, yeah, so this, this is something that is going to be very interesting for me to build. Uh... So once I do build it, um, I'll unveil the whole build and then I'm going to have to take it apart again because I have to do the upgraded videos and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully you guys were able to uh, like this unboxing video. Uh, as you guys can see, the TRX4 uh, kits and also the body, upgraded body. So pretty cool haul. I'm happy with it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this live feed. Uh, definitely I do. Uh, enjoy doing these live feed videos to where you guys are involved with uh, the discussion. Uh, if you have any questions about the TRX4, see them now. Ricardo, um, I'm not too sure. Gio, you see it's a lot of fun building this kit? <laughs> I'll see. It looks like hell. <laughs> It looks like hell, but you know what? It it I'm sure it's very rewarding after it's all done. Uh, Ricardo, I'll talk about the speed run on the X01 on another video. All I do is RC. What's going on? Anyway, so if that's it for today, uh, once again, thank you for joining the live feed. Uh, I always appreciate you guys uh, checking out, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. If you do like the content of live feeds, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the other type of content where I just do video editing and I have music in the background and I do my, my video splashes and you see the GeoSelfR logo jump on there with um, on top of the earth or whatever the hell it is, um, give me a heads up if that's what you prefer to watch or you do enjoy these live feeds. I know it's kind of hard for a lot of people to do live feeds during the, during the day, but uh, hopefully um, this won't be the last. Uh, it is slowing down, so we'll see what initially transpires in the in a few. So uh, thank you for joining um, the live session. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my friends up on YouTube. Later.